Hello, my name is Georgia Smith, and this is my scientific inquiry project. I chose to research how financial stability and emotional connection is played out when deciding to adopt a pet. Um, and my hypothesis was that uh, financial stability is going to carry a higher impact on the decision to adopt pets. <coughs> when studying the link between financial stability and emotional connection with animals, I think it provides um, insight into the psychological and economic aspects of pet ownership. What my project does is it covers the impact of financial stability that it has on individuals who own pets and how their emotional connection really influences their commitment to the decision of pets. <clears throat> I believe that having an animal will provide you with various benefits including companionship, reducing stress, increasing physical activity through play, and I think that they bring a sense of purpose and routine. Unfortunately for a lot of people though, um, <clears throat> financial stability can impact the decision and it puts a strain on a budget, um, but I don't think that that makes anybody less worthy of not having that um, companionship that an animal brings. <clears throat> When researching my question, I found a whole bunch of helpful sources, um, but mainly this article that I really liked was The Economics of Pet Ownerships by James McWiney. Um, it provided information about the basic cost of pets, um, and I really enjoyed it because I think that the article helps people realize having a pet is a much bigger um, commitment than most think. And if you're not thinking about the long-term adjustment that an animal will have on your life, and the financial cost, uh, then you, you're you gonna have a very difficult time providing a healthy environment for that animal. For my research, um, I chose to interview people who owned or have owned pets, um, and I surveyed them from my work, from my school, and from my home. Um, and all of the answers I got were relatively the same. Um, many thought that you cannot own an animal if you're not confident in your finances, and a lot of people spoke of the importance it is considering <clears throat> the many ways that an uh, animal will impact your life. So another way I collected my data was through Google Forms. Um, I sent these to my friends or and I posted it on my social media story for people to answer. Um, and I think this was a much easier way to collect my data than um, going up to people and asking. Um, a lot of my questions on that Google Form were yes or no. And I thought about the results of my question, is the cost of veterinary care a significant factor in your decision to adopt pets? Uh, it was interesting because 75% said yes and 25% said no. And I had assumed that 100% would say yes because of the importance veterinary care is <clears throat> and the impact that it has on the health of the animal. Um, I just thought it was a little um, um, confusing because I think that veterinary care should be the number one thing that you're thinking of uh, when you decide to adopt a pet because you don't know what can happen to your animal. You don't know um, if it, when you adopt it, if there's going to be an underlying disease that you don't know about. Um, and I just think it's important that you need to think about everything um, that could happen before you get a pet and veterinary care should be your top number one. Um, <clears throat> but I really liked another one of my questions that I came up with. Um, because it was about um, financial stability. It, it said, um, were financial considerations or emotional considera uh, connections more prominent when picking a pet? And although financial considerations were significantly more dominant in my following research questions, 85.7% um, answered emotional connection and 143 answered financial considerations. Um, I thought this was very interesting because in all of the questions, um, it was mostly, yes, I'm thinking about um, how I'm going to care for my animal. I'm thinking about budget expenses. I'm thinking about <clears throat> the life uh, moving forward, how this animal is going to impact my financial decisions. So seeing that um, this question got way more emotional connection than financial considerations, which is... Um, it was interesting to me um, and I wish I would have done like a deeper dive on questions like that because uh, I really liked coming up with my own questions and I felt like it helped me answer like my own thoughts about having pets um, and I chose to do this topic of financial income and emotional connection because I'm someone who comes from a low income family um, who 
have owned pets <clears throat> and I wanted to learn how people perceive their finances, financials when uh, pet adopting because growing up um, we would always we would always have pets we always had dogs we always had cats we always had bunny rabbits and a couple times we had farm animals um, but we never took our animals to annual visits or um, when we noticed something was up, it wasn't like an immediate vet visit because it was just um, out of our budget. Um, <clears throat> um, but when I started my CTE class, I got to realize the importance of making sure that your pet has the proper medical attention. Um, so it just kind of, it kind of struck me and I was like, huh, like this is basic knowledge, yes, but um, I wonder how it is for other people because for me and my family, it's difficult. Um, but we've always gotten our dogs license and um, recurrent medication like their kitten shots or heartworm or um, rabies. Um, but I've noticed how reluctant my father is uh, when it comes to veterinary cost. <coughs> um, and it just, um, it's a little confusing <coughs> <clears throat> because uh, I know that he loves our animals and everything, um, but I can see how how damaging it is uh, because of how expensive veterinary care is and the time you have to put into making sure that they're okay, making sure the medicine is going to work, making sure that there's not any terrible effects and preventing that. Um, when my mom decided to move away, um, I had decided to stay at my dad's house purely because of my pets and the connection I had with them. Um, and that also played into when I decided to pick a college to go to. I chose somewhere closer because I wanted it to be easier for me to visit my pets because of just how much they really mean to me. Um, and I was curious if other people thought like this um, and how much that their animals impact their decisions on stuff. And even though financial stability plays an incredibly crucial role, um, I wanted to know how emotional connection also plays that ginormous role. Um, and my conclusion is that <coughs> um, I think that this research shows a balance between both aspects because it's, I of, it's often ideal and harmonious um, and for well-cared pet relationships. Um, to have both financial stability and emotional connection. Um, but I would say if anybody were, I wish I could have had like a second shot at this project because I, after completing it, I had so many more ideas and thoughts that I could have put into it. Um, I wanted to do a bigger, um, a bigger variety of people. And I wish I would have, um, stopped and maybe asked a homeless person who has dogs because I see a whole bunch downtown um, I wish I would have stopped them and asked them about it and asked their story um, because it's I, I think it's so interesting um, <clears throat> to find this out um, and I wish I would have had more questions um, and I wish I created more open-ended answers that people could you know tell me about uh, their story and their life with their pet so I just I really enjoyed making this project and I would love to redo it and have a better um, understanding of everything because I feel like there's just so much that we don't know yet and it's incredible. Thank you.